Yo, shout out to this guy, Ray Gibb. He be at Ray Gibb TV. Hold up, hold up. Charles the White is fresh out of jail. Then he gets popped in the rack. What do y'all think? Whack goes in. Let's get to the content. It's Ray Gift TV. I want to talk about this Charleston White, bro. So Charleston White, he he he. They said he got shot in Chicago, bro. Let, cap, me, let me play it. Let me play it. Chicago real quick, said ain't nothing out. Let me play this. This Charleston White, man. It's crazy because Charleston. Man, Charleston, the one did all that to get niggas talking. Seven hours. Come on, like that's like. This nigga Charleston, right? He talked about Lil Woody kid. You know what I'm saying? He said that they legs are bad or some shit. They, they, you know, he met him. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He talking about Lil Woody kid. He talking about everybody, bro. And he was in Detroit today. And they said Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like, for them to put it on all these platforms, bro, I think he That's was behind him, me. bro. That's him doing it. He playing the media, bro. Like, I got, he got shot in Chicago. That shit cap, bro. He's playing the media. You gotta remember, dude, dude's whole conversation is he will befriend you, um, befriend him, befriend Woody. They gonna talk about it, okay? It's running out, okay? That's what he did. Woody, that's what he do, bro. What you mean? I don't even take dude serious. Listen, bro. listen to this nigga, bro. Listen to this nigga real quick. I, I want you to get. To, I want you to react. To what was saying? He bring his girl, his daughter, in the bad nigga Barry White. Bad, Barry, the dick. Barry was just on my lap not too long ago. Barry, Barry met Woody through me. I wake up one morning when me and Woody done our first 20 versus two. I wake up, look out the window. I see Barry, my phone was ringing. I answer my phone, it's Woody. Him and Barry downstairs. Woody don't know where I'm staying at. And they going live. So now they done blew my spot up. Which I ain't tripping, but he done, he riding Woody. Without my permission, he done gave Woody the location where we staying at. Not that I'm tripping, but you ain't, you ain't gonna do this. Cause you wanna ride now, but I feel Woody, so I ain't tripping. But now I know where everybody in Atlanta know where I'm staying. I go live there anyway, so people find out anyway. So later on that night, I'm hanging with thug them people. My nigga Oye, I'm hanging with, with, with Queen. Queen is close associates to nut. Thug, everybody. We at Blue Flame, my nigga. That nigga Barry riding Woody so much, he whispered to me, say, I told Woody to come up here. What? Homie, we in the club with nut and them cousins people, everything. Say, homie, you playing, my Homie, I fuck with Woody how I fuck with him, but I fuck with him away from these people. These people are close associates to Yak Gotti. It's it nothing them family, my nigga. You don't know this because you playing internet, nigga. I don't mix this, nigga. What you doing? I didn't, you didn't ask me this, nigga. I knew this. In the beginning, I've been telling y'all for the longest. I've been saying, man, they love a guy, they long as a nigga can fight, long as a nigga that kill you, you can go snitch and come home. Woody is the perfect example. Still go give you some So who give a damn about snitching? Woody is the perfect example that you can snitch and still get paid. Hey, Wack, you heard what he just said, right? 
Wow, what is that, Jack? He talking about if you snitch like Woody, you can get plenty and all this extra shit that he talking about. Oh, what are you talking about? That bit, that ain't that new? Nigga, I've been telling y'all what's going on. Talk about it. What are you talking This is why it's over with. Okay, you got niggas on the street over here, right here, right? They, they on they real nigga shit. They ain't told on nothing. They didn't kept it solid, did take time, whatever. They out, right? But all them niggas is struggling. Then you got the niggas over here mixed with the snitches and the killer rats. They got the money, the motion, the club. They got everything. Ain't nobody fucking with them because these niggas is real kid. They kill your ass and they up, right? So now you got a real nigga. He get caught with something. Now he looking at 10, 15 years. Okay. You can stay solid, my nigga. Be a real nigga. Go do your time. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go ahead on the tail, get on out, and now you got a reason to go fuck with them. What you think they doing these days? They going to tell. This is what's going on, bro. The only survivors of the real nigga era is the niggas that they went legal. So you, you, you say Charleston right on this point. That been going on. He ain't right, though. Bullshit. He right with what's going on. Oh, he right That's with what's, what's going, going on. on. No, but the, <laughs> the motherfucker, it ain't right. Now. No, bro. He is a rat. He told right. back when he was a juvenile, old dude from A Trade Gangster got all his paperwork. He uh, told on the nigga. From. He right now still be writing a letter into the parole board when it come up with time to do to get parole, talking about he in fear of his life. Mm. Under those pretenses, y'all, yeah, he right. It's for that's rats not, like that's him. That's what's going on. I ain't right. saying that's the right thing to do, but that's what's going on and coming from him, nigga. That's that's what this shit is. Man, these niggas and the older nigga get, the less chance they going to take with you. And then why he got to say, like, why he got to put out there, that shit was on all the blogs, all the alert. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all these big blogs, bro, academics, they say it's a chance that Big Unk got shot. You know what I'm saying? Charleston White. Who got shot? Charleston White. They were saying he got Man, shot early. Bro, that's time. because y'all, so y'all can talk about it. Exactly. That's it. Like, as soon exactly. as I've seen it, as soon as I've seen it, I'm like, ain't no police report with it. I said, okay, that's him. That's it. That, that's it. He did the same yeah. thing a year yeah, he ago definitely in did that get club shot. in Texas. Same. He definitely didn't get shot. He he didn't have none of that going on. But listen to this. Let me play this. Let me play a little bit more for y'all. But I don't go in the hood. Uh, he keep a bunch of niggas around him. Every time I done seen him, he done had a bunch of niggas. Every time he done seen me, it's just me in the brawl and probably one. Anybody who see me, see me in the brawl and in the looking for a brawl too. So yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't no group thinker. He a group thinker. Oh, uh, I done tried to. Yeah, you know, somebody get him. I'm just putting it out there. It's easy. They don't have no defense for it. Get them before they start trying to see this interview and change it. Mm. How, how, how true is it that you were supposed to take the stand on behalf of Yellow Beezy? Is that true? Uh, yeah, they called me. Uh, his manager called me, but they never got back with me. You would have took the stand? You got damn right and told them people. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. I do. And so, yeah, man, nigga told me. And I ain't known for lying. Everybody Shit. I'm gonna see shot jocking a motivational speaker, public speaking. I got murdered. So now, nah, nigga, I'm a hell of a motherfucking brain. So now nah, I just, this this is what I tell people, my nigga. There's nothing wrong with us using each other. But if we don't know how to use each other, we're gonna start misusing each other. And once you start misusing one another, that's where the abuse come in. 
So nigga, I'm gonna use the and I can't use you for I'm messing with a woman for and I can't just friends supposed to use one another. Don't I agree. Shit. So homie, once I see this is all I can do with this nigga. All I can do with him is man, I'm gonna stay with this nigga for home. I done made eighty five thousand, almost a hundred thousand. Eighty five thousand to be exact by the dollar is what I made off of Woody in one month. I need to keep going with him for we ain't finna get nothing bigger than that. When you were in jail this weekend, were you in popular you were you were in a population? Right here. I went to jail with that in my pocket. I had a no bond. So how can I call him on a no bond? I had no bond. The judge Hey Wack, hey Wack, this 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 the part right here. So he said that Lil Woody said that he called him on Instagram and was like he needed ten thousand, right? That's what he said. So look, let me play it. Let me play it for you. Violated my bond condition for smoking weed. So I don't have a bond. So the judge say his ass go stay in there for the weekend. We'll talk about it on Monday. The judge gave me a bond Monday night. So how, how can I call him? How can I use that jailhouse phone that only goes to the people that's on your visitation list? How you call that? I think he got a DM from a fake account. But, I, oh, but, but what fake account? I don't have an account. I don't have an Instagram. I, I'm on DM. But why would I call a nigga who I talked about his dead mama and his baby? I've been talking about his baby before I went to jail. So why would I call him? That don't even make sense. That nigga just lying, my nigga. And you called. You called directly to see what I need. Not just you, nigga. The Memphis basketball player showed up to make the bond. Nigga, I had a Memphis basketball player show up unexpectedly to come make the bond. Him and his girl. So, man, what I'm gonna call a nigga that ain't got this kind of bond money? And he on probation. So how he gonna send, to, how he gonna send this bond money? My bond, $90,000. How he gonna send this money? How he gonna make it? He don't have a debit card. He don't even have a debit card. So how he gonna make the bomb? And why would I call a nigga with all these people? My wife makes 20,000. Nigga, all I gotta do is just book an interview. Hey, Sean, I, come on now. And you call it. So why would I overlook you, nigga? Hell yeah, tell Sean Cotton I need it. Hell yeah, tell Aiden Ross I need it. Aiden Ross got $40,000 for me in, in old payments. So why, nigga, I can't say send that 40, Aiden. I already know when I get out of jail, I'm sitting in jail saying shit. It's gonna be about forty, sixty thousand dollars in interview money. I already know this, so but then I already know I can't get out of jail, nigga. The judge mad at me. Ain't was on Monday. The judge told me on Thursday I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear nothing from him. Lock him up. We'll talk about it on Monday. So nigga, I'm in court. It's eight thirty Thursday, nigga. I'm thinking Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday. I thought I was going to die before I even got back there. I am process five days in jail. Nigga, I thought I should have died. <laughs> nigga, I'm about man shit. Nigga, tight. Told I almost closed up. Nigga, I was trying to fart and couldn't fart. Nigga, <laughs> shit, hey, I needed some relief. <laughs> shit. And I couldn't get nothing right there. Nigga, nigga, I closed up. And man, nigga, they took the nigga to the back. I couldn't get past the first day. Nigga, I ain't no jailhouse, nigga. Hell, I'm a juvenile boy at home, nigga, where they gotta let you out an hour a day. Nigga, they had me locked up 24 hour isolation confinement in the name of my safety. My safety. Yeah, nigga, I'd rather do a little fighting than being unsafe. I want somebody to talk to. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, yeah. Cho you couldn't so, choose? So I was there all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Oh, I got to make commissary. An old video, an old Charleston White video, and Soul Search, and look back and saw my name on that mother wall on the door. No better you start to do better, and then you don't want to be one of the smoothest players, nigga, that put down game, my nigga, nigga, in, in the history of black people in this country, man. Uh, BML, I mean, he can't get no big fight without me. Hell no. Oh, man, man, that nigga too talented, my nigga. It, it's like, as if it's new. And then some people say, man, I done already seen this before. 
Hey, Wack, how you feel about what Charles has been saying this whole time? This is new Say Cheese interview. Him not having a debit card ain't got nothing to do with a nigga putting up bail. Like, I ain't ever gave a nigga a debit card for no bail. I gave a nigga American Express one time in Texas, but, um, you know, shit. Bondsman say cash, too. I, I don't know. I mean, I believe, you know, I, when a nigga get in there, man, a nigga get desperate and call anybody. But he seemed like he insinuating that Woody ain't getting the money that we think he getting. Well, he don't know what money Woody getting. Woody turned down a turned down doing something with the nigga because the money wasn't right. So let's do that math. The nigga tried right. to tell Woody that they gonna give you seven thousand dollars. Woody t- wouldn't do it. Yeah, Woody said, "Hell no, I'm not doing no shit for no seven thousand dollars." But whole Charleston whole thing, and what he think is, is that Charleston falling off. He looking for clout. You know what I'm saying? Of he course, to he got to, bro. He got to keep somebody saying his name about something. That shit is. We know that he don't do nothing. All he do is talk about like, like right. He go befriend a nigga and he talk about him. That's it. Charleston got it twisted with. Well. He been doing it longer than Woody. But hey, whack, let me ask you this question. Who bigger, Woody or Charleston White? Uh, Charleston White. Woody ain't no. been around long enough. Chop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Do you believe Charleston White was popped in a rack? Let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate the support. Everybody tuning in to the channel. There will be more content to come. Keep that notification bell turned on. I can't stress that enough. It's Shmoney making Monday. Let's get to the Shmoney, though. You feel me? Everybody out there working hard, remember it will pay off. Do what you got to do today to be prepared for tomorrow. Hard work will pay off. If you believe it, you'll achieve it. And there it go. Really apply yourself. Really be proactive. And really go get your bag, man. Be about your paper, man. That bed is real, let's scratch, man. But until next time, it's your boy Ray giving I'm gone. God bless. Peace.